Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. In the previous video, we segregated the test data from the test script. And this video, we are going to now segregate the web elements from the test script. We can either go for page object model or if you are working on a small scale project, you can also store these web elements in a JSON file. So we are going to look at both the approaches in this video. So first thing first, what is page object model? So page object model is a very popular design pattern used in test automation for enhancing test maintenance and reducing redundant code. In this model, for each web page in the application, there should be a corresponding page class. This page class will identify the web elements of that web page and also contains page methods which perform operations on those web elements. And this way, that page class serves as an interface to a page of your application. If any of the locator changes, the tests themselves are not affected. Only the code within the page class should be updated to reflect the latest changes. So this is the same test case which we made data driven in the previous video. So we are going to log in into this application and we have got three controls, uh, the email control, the password control and the submit button. Okay. All right. So let's start taking these web elements out of this test case. Okay. So we are going to execute this particular test case. Or rather sweet and in here you see login suite web elements are stored in a page class all right so now what i have done is i have created this pages folder at the root of the project and under that there are two more folders one is named as page classes the other one is named as page json inside page classes we have this empty file okay so since we are storing the element for the login page so let us create a class and okay, so to create a class you have to use the keyword class first followed by the class name and i usually keep the first letter of the class name capital now if you don't know much about classes and all in javascript so don't worry you can go to my channel search for javascript tutorials for beginners by qa box list test and watch videos from part 34 till 39 and then also watch part 42 because all these things would help you in creating the page object model okay so now what do we need to do now so all we are going to do is i'm going to just take a copy of these two things in here i'm showing you like you know first you have to when you're learning things right you put everything in one file and then you know once you gain more experience you start segregating these things in the respective files or in the respective modules so you start modularizing your uh, development work okay so i've taken the copy of these two and i come in here and just paste these for a while and there is one more control which we require and it is this okay so all right so fine so now i have got these three things so i'm going to create three methods first okay and the first one is going to be get email okay so this is how you create the method and then that method will have the body next one i'm going to create is get password okay and that too would have a body and the last one in the list is get submit button okay so one method for each element okay and in here all you need to now do is you just have to cut this okay for email this much okay and you just have to say return and put this thing in here okay same way cut this for the password and come in here say return and don't worry about the formatting at the end when i'll save it it would be adjusted automatically so i'll say return and this because i'm using an extension for that all right so we are done in here okay let us save this so now this thing is adjusted okay now this is a module and i have to export that if again uh, you're not clear on this uh, on my channel you will find node.js basics uh, go and watch all right so so we are going to say export default okay and let's just say login so we want to export this class right? it's that simple now we have to import this okay so we're going to say import and then login from and then we have to provide in the path 
pages and inside pages we are working on page classes and inside page classes we have login page okay and uh, for uh, es syntax for importing things we also have to provide in the extension so let us provide the extension as well so we are good we have imported this now this is a class so we have to create an object of it so let us create an object of that in here so we say const now let us give that object the name login and with the help of new keyword we can create object from the class okay so we are good now now what do we have to do so we have to now replace this thing with you have to say login and dot we have get email as you could see in the suggestion okay this is a method so you have to do it like this then you have to say login and now this is get password so this is again a method okay and same for this one as well now let us run this there you go so it works uh, having said that there are still few more things which we can do all right so let's see those so they are currently the methods right if you know getters and setters you know you can improvise this further so all i'm doing is i'm saying so get is a keyword for creating getters in your class so i just say get space email and in here i say get space password and for this i say get space submit button okay i have to use this as a property that's the advantage of getting setters so i say login dot email same way i just get rid of this here and similarly so now you see we are using this as a property so login dot email and then we are typing into it okay it is again going to work let us see that there you go so it is it is working what else can i do okay so let us see so let us go back to our class all right so there might be cases when you are referencing this element again and again in your class so if you keep the selector information in here and it changes tomorrow so you have to update this at multiple places so the better approach is to keep this static data in the constructor so that any time you create the class this thing is being initialized and whenever there is a change you just have to update it at just one place okay so we say this dot email is equal to and we just take this thing from here and put it here and now in here you just say this dot email let us quickly do the same for other two as well let us save this and re-execute this so you see we are able to execute our test case with this approach as well so we have enhanced this quite a lot let us do one more thing so if i come in here right if the intention behind creating this class is to always use its object then why am i creating this object in here okay i can simply say let me cut this from here okay and i come to this class i create this object in here and then i export this object directly okay like this and now let me save this go to my class and in here now this is login okay and i don't need to make any more changes now okay and i can simply run this this case now and it is still going to work as expected okay great so these are the few enhancements that you can make to your page object class okay now let us look at the other way of uh, doing the same thing so like i mentioned if you are working on a small scale uh, project then you can take other approaches like you know storing all your uh, uh, selectors within just one json file so for example i've created this login dot uh, login page dot json file like this and you could see in here we are storing those selectors right now the next thing is so i can simply you know use the common js syntax in here because in cypress we can use both es uh, 2015 syntax and common js module so i can say const login all right equal to and i use the required function in here directly all right i'm not saying you have you've got to do this i'm just showing you 
that you know you can uh, use the required function within the test case itself right and just you need to pass in the path so i just say login uh, page now it is not mandatory to provide in the extension in case of uh, this common js uh, input so we are good now we have access to login i have to say login dot now we have email and then in here we have login dot password and for this we have login dot submit button okay and rest all would remain the same so let us run this test case okay so this one also works right so i hope you like that we covered the page object model and we also saw one more way of providing elements from a json file thank you so much